villagers of Monkey River met to discuss plans for urgent measures to combat major erosion problems affecting life and property in their coastal community. Correspondent Paul Mahong reports. The village level meeting was facilitated by Monk River Chairman Richard Pitts, who spoke to Love News by phone. The erosion is not stopping, and we need to do something now. At the moment, we have three houses that are at critical risk, and now we need to do something about these houses. So we came up with that solution of using the, some, rope, some, some rock along the seashore. So we got a pledge from uh, Mr. Gira from Punta Gorda to use the government for it to get the rocks free of cars. We got another pledge from Mr. Francis Black in Independence to transport the materials to Monk River Village free of cars with only the fuel added on to the, to the cars. And we, we plan on starting to do our endeavor uh, this weekend, start moving the rocks across to the south side of the, the village and start putting them in place. We are appealing to Minister Holtz, he made a promise to us last year, if the government wins, that he will try to do something to help Monk River on our property. And we're also appealing to chuckers who want to donate a load of rocks to the village. They could also chuck a load of rocks to the, to the village to help out. We're also appealing to the, to the big group group uh, for fights and uh, to help us with, with a barge or, or something like that, to help us move the rocks over to the south side of the village. We're also asking the people from the region who's lying if they could also donate some equipment to help us move the rocks over to the south side of the village. You can talk number, you can contact me at 653 9224. Or contact Mr. Zarin Garbat in the village at 543 2454. Am I correct in saying that the, the work uh, you're going to do in the village with erosion will be this coming weekend, it's Saturday, April 23rd and 24th, and at what time? We will start early as possible. Uh, this, this problem, we have to address it now. We have to start to address it now because uh, it hasn't stopped, and uh, like I said, we have three houses right now, and Mr. Murray is a senior citizen. He's 50 years old, and uh, he doesn't have anywhere to go. So we need to start, we will be starting at his property first to see what we could do for him. Pitts confirmed that erosion in Monk River over the past years directly contributed to major village coastline destruction and loss. Monk River Village has lost about 400 feet of beach and property in the last 20 years. We've lost football field, we've lost two, two streets, we've lost several rows of lots. And our problem has been compounded by our loss of the right here and forest along the Monk River watershed. As, as people, people might, might probably not know that 60% uh, of the banana farms are located on the Mount River watershed. And most of the right here and forest along the Mount River watershed has been cut down so that these farms can operate. And uh, so that's why we are trying to appeal to the Big Creek Group of companies and, and so on so that they could see if they could assist Mount River in some way. While Chairman Richard Pitts and villagers are taking positive actions within their limited resources, voices in Monk River community echo the need for urgent help by elected government officials, other authorities, or additional concerned private enterprises, organizations, and persons. This report is sponsored by King's Energy Uno service stations in Punta Gorda and Big Falls, Soledo, where with every purchase of $50 or more, you earn a chance to win $10,000 to be ruffled 10 a.m. April 30, 2016 at King's Big Falls Energy Uno service station, along with refreshments, music, food, exciting children games, and other outdoor family fun activities. Reporting for Love News, Paul Mahone, Punta Gorda.